Hello, I'm Justin Fisher. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. And today we are celebrating 2 Cares for the Community Day. Many of us are going to be doing some volunteer work around the area to show what this day means. So make sure to stick with us all day for our community event. We do have all sorts of extra information about the day and volunteering. You can click on the banner at the top of our website, kgrh.com. One of those places too. Just one of the many looking for help. Broken Arrow Blue Star Mothers this evening. They're going to be placing or uh, putting together care packages uh, at the Broken Arrow Veterans Center starting at 6 o'clock tonight. And once finished, those will be sent out to cruise on the USS Tulsa on Friday in order to get them uh, there before that ship sets off. And Broken Arrow's Rose District, here's a different reason for today, is inviting couples to take advantage of today's special date, 22222, by tying the knot. The Tulsa County uh, court clerk's Main Street Satellite Office will have an ordained minister available 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. They say it's a chance for those getting married to make their wedding day even more memorable. In addition to being memorable, they're going to remember, remember how cold it is outside. Brandon Willie's got your forecast. Hello, Justin. Just brutally cold today. If we remember yesterday, we had high temperatures into the 70s. So wind gusts today between 20 and 30 miles per hour. Wind chills during the morning into the single digits and teens. This afternoon, actual temperatures into the mid 30s, but wind chills down into the 20s with a little bit of clearing working in a mixture of sleet and freezing rain Wednesday and Thursday. High temperatures from the mid to the upper 20s, but the wind chills tomorrow morning probably around zero across northeast Oklahoma. And then it looks uh, pretty good for Sunday and Monday if you ignore Friday and Saturday with those high temperatures still cold into the 30s. Justin. All right. Thank you so much, Brandon. Don't forget you can stay with 2 News, uh, 2 News Oklahoma for updates all throughout the day.